More than 100,000 people expected to attend this weekend. Of course, we have team coverage for you of this event. Our Emily Luxon will tell us how first responders are keeping attendees and drivers safe on both land and water. First, though, let's get out to News Channel 5's Jason Lamb, live from outside Nissan Stadium. Jason, I know you've talked to people from all over the mid-state. They're getting a glimpse at something no one here in Nashville has seen before. Yeah, that's right. Drivers racing through the streets of Nashville, just feet in front of them. We were there for some of the sights and sounds today, just a preview of what's to come. For all the sounds that this part of downtown Nashville is usually known for, bird rentals and a jet black transit. The sound taking over this weekend is something new. But as soon as you get over the bridge, you can start hearing the cars, and it's really energizing. The majority of Nashvillians just aren't used to seeing an Indy car race up close. And I mean up really close. It's very loud. You yeah. cannot talk to one another. You can, you can feel the rumble in your chest yes. when they come by. It's a good feeling. Yeah, it's, and it's really cool. But others here already understand what all the rumble is about. We actually moved to Tennessee just over two years ago from St. Pete, and we have an Indy down there. We went every year, so we've been waiting. This is very exciting. For the fans, organizers here have things planned. I keep on getting this stuck. Right down to the littlest detail. Well, try not to run into the walls. <laughs> so, it's a really hard part. Good advice for the drivers, too, ahead of this weekend's races through the streets in a city growing accustomed these days to trying new things. Oh, always yeah, changing. always changing. It is going to be a big weekend starting tomorrow bright and early at 730 with the Walk Bike Nashville Fun Walk and Ride.